This one's gonna be fun, I've never made it. I saw it on TV, this guy, I think he's the world champion sumo wrestler. Stick around, up next is our sumo stew. Sam, go ahead and fire up that pot. You're gonna run the pot. What we have is just a kind of a plethora of vegetables. Start with that garlic, and then I'm just gonna help prep. We can both cut. We'll just knock this out. So if you wanna take these guys, I'll peel them, hand them to you, cut them, maybe just go the long way. Whoa! And then something like that. What is sumo stew? Sumo stew. <laughs> you know, I don't even really know. It's called chanko nab uh, or chanko nabe. I don't know where I saw it, but it was like the world champion sumo wrestler. He was like putting on a seminar or something like that. But training session in the morning, goes back to his apartment and then cooks this every day. He literally said he does it every day. Big old pot of stew, he eats it, then he takes a nap, then he goes back and trains at night. Figured if it's good enough for him, we ought to give it a shot. Yeah, great. Right? I want to know what the champion of anything's doing. Should I start tossing these in? Yeah. Pull my pan down. Yep. Oh. All right, carrots are in, huh? Carrots going in. I'm gonna work these onions. One point off for every seed on the pepper. Savage. Okay, I want you to quarter the mushrooms. I know you're good at that. Cut. We got bell peppers in now. Mushrooms up next. I'm gonna work this. Let's switch knives. Here. Is there like a jack of all trades knife? I think that the knife you have is a little bit more manageable than this. this is a 10 inch chef knife. That's like a seven. Yeah, definitely seven fits in the hand a little bit It's in the hand better. better. So start short. This is a chef knife, culinary school issue. I've had this since 99, so 18 years. And it, I think you can buy this for like 15 bucks. Go ahead and throw, yeah, you can throw those in and this. Shrooms, you can toss those in. So what I'm gonna do over here is get our meatball mixture going. We got some ground turkey. I'm gonna dump that in this bowl. Three eggs, ginger, salt, pepper, and then I'm going scallions. Let's go that much. Boom, scallions in. How's that looking? You wanna give that some pepper? Uh, what we're gonna do is get this like a bubbling broth and then we're gonna drop little balls into it and they're gonna boil and cook while they boil. How come you, you don't use like a, why wouldn't you use like a chicken broth or something? I think that we're gonna get enough flavor out of this. Really? Yeah. All right guys, we're up to a simmer. We seasoned it with salt. Now I've cut the rest of the scallions. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in. And then I've got some rainbow chard here. We figured, hey, let's get that going. And what the guy did, who I saw in this video, right, this world champion sumo wrestler, I'll give his name. He said there was no specific recipe, he just gets a bunch of veggies and makes it happen. Just goes for it. Like, perfect. What do we want to do? We're going to work this. I've transferred the meat mixture to this gallon Ziploc bag. We're going to cut here. Oh yeah, there you go, all stir. See, still team. It's almost like the residual heat of the large quantity of stew is going to cook these meatballs almost straight away. Cool, and then fish, we've got two pounds of cod. I'm gonna give this a little salt, some pepper. Same idea, these are like little fish meatballs. So go ahead and just cut the heat on that. It looks like we have some other things. Yeah, now. these bean sprouts, what I was thinking we'll do, I would normally garnish this at the time that you serve it, kind of like a fresh little okay. garnish on top, but I was thinking we're gonna, we're gonna portion this out, meal prep style, into some quart containers, and we'll put this in there before we awesome. add our so right. let's get that let's going. Get we'll show you what Set it looks it like. Okay, we got it all portioned out. We eyeballed it and it worked out pretty well. 16, pretty close to quarts, maybe yeah. three and a half cups per portion. Beautiful. Man. Yeah, buddy. Chanko Nob. Sam here. I'm Nick. Happy, Happy cooking. Eating. Happy eating.